Hey students, um, it occurred to me after I got an email um, that I did not explain how to make the uh, bubble notes, okay? The the bubble, you know, number callouts, okay? So, uh, it's fairly easy if you know where you're looking, um, So, it, but it's all okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to hit multi-leader. In fact, we're going to... Uh, annotate a metric. That's what we're going to use. We're going to hit new and I'm going to call it bubble. Bubble annotate a metric yeah, for this one. Uh, if you're doing an inch drawing, use one of the regular annotative. Okay. I'm going to continue and Let's see, that's going to stay the same. That's going to stay the same. Leader structure, that's going to stay the same. Uh, distance, that's going to stay the same. Content, let's see, text height's going to stay the same. Uh, where it says impext, we're going to go block. Okay? Now, look at this. Detail call out, slot, circle. Circle, scale. Since it's metric, I think we're going to have to make it um, 25. And I say that's probably right. Okay, so then we hit OK. And then we're going to close. And now when I make a multiliter, I'm just going to select that point right there, over here, and I'm going to make this one 7, and hit OK. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, east do. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so there you go. That's how you make a bubble note. These are a little larger. I'm not sure uh, what uh, what style my student did those in, but that is how you would make a bubble leader. Now, if you ever get stuck, okay, and you're like, "Hey, how do you? How on earth does this guy do this?" If you go up here to this question mark and you type in. Um, bubble leader. Have you tried multi-leaders for labels and callouts? The panel confirms that bubble callout is the current multi... Okay, so this would be a good one to look at. Okay. Um, I need a simple list that explodes dimensions. Okay. Yeah. I think we go with this first one here. So if you click, haha, yes. So this is where you would click. This shows you some of the different styles that you can do on your leaders. And there's the information. Uh, that shows you to select this guy here. Um, and there. It's a roundabout way to do it, but it, it gets you back to the same spot that I did just a moment ago with circle. And yeah. There you go. So, yeah, there you have it. Okay, so that shows you different ways. Um, you might get away with just using the tag number like up in there, like I did. I've always uh, just made a second one or a third one. Let's see, let's see what this says. Okay, yeah, enter tag number. So it can be any ca any number. So nine and enter and okay. And there's nine. So yeah, I'm gonna control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z. Come on, one more. There we go. To undo that, but 
yeah, that's how you would uh, go about uh, doing that. And I hope that helps. Okay. I don't use it a whole lot. I haven't used it a whole lot here recently. So, um, and then, you know, in Revit that I'm used to working in, uh, there's a whole different method of doing things with that. So that comes from the, uh, at a different time, different stuff. But, yeah, I hope that answers your questions. And uh, let me know if you have any more questions. I'll try to do what I can to, to get the information to you. Okay? Take care, and uh, let me know how I can help. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.